So here we have four different ways to measure the temperature of an ice bath or whatever you're trying to measure. So um, the first one is the commercial type K thermocouple, which is plugged directly into the multimeter. So what you can do here um, is just place it in. You get a measurement. Um, you get a reading roughly at zero degrees Celsius. All right, so the second way that you can take a measurement is actually using a thermistor. So the important note about the thermistor is that it only measures resistance. You can't actually get a temperature measurement from this. So if you plug this in, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get some resistance change. You're gonna wait for it to reach steady state. Um, but then you basically will have a calibration equation that you have to plug that resistance in. Again, the thermistor is not going to give you a temperature. It's going to give you a resistance, which correlates to a temperature um, through some calibration equation. But you're going to actually have to do that calculation um, with the calibration equation. So we'll wait for it to slowly reach steady state. It's going to get there relatively soon. All right, so that's about it. So um, the third way is just a regular thermometer. Most of you guys have experienced these before. Um, if you look at it, it's been in there for a while. If you zoom in on that, um, it's at roughly zero degrees C. Um, you can, it actually reads a little bit below. There might be some calibration error with it. So you can get that reading. Um, and then the last way you can use it is actually using a um, digital pyrometer. So this is actually an infrared digital pyrometer. What you can do is you can point it at it, squeeze the trigger, and it's going to give you a reading in degrees Celsius.